Hi, good day from Pekulor and Organ Building. So today we want to discuss our PICOS organ electronic control system. We get quite a few queries from clients asking what is this PICOS? Well, first of all, PICOS basically just stands for Pekulor and Organ Systems. Um, what does it do? It replaces in old consoles with electromechanical coupler systems and switches and so on. It's a electronic control system that replaces those old type of switches. Um, why would you want to do that? Well, many of the organs have got really old electrical systems and they give problems after a while, such as notes that don't come through anymore, stops that don't come through anymore, plain and simply burning of contacts, wiring, something that would happen to any electrical system after 50, 60 years plus. So the electronic system is, it's more modern and um, it's actually cheaper to replace than, than replacing your organ with another mechanical electro system. Um, that's a very costly system nowadays because of all the time that goes into making it. So the electronic one is far better. Um, the electronic one also has many, many other advantages, um, which we'll discuss just now. So I'm going to take you around and show you a bit about the system. This is the one electronic control board that's inside the organs console. It consists of a processor board, as I've pointed out, many control cards. These are input sides and a row of output sides. So under every single note in the organ, pedal, pistons, stop registers, there's a switch. And each of those switches connect in the inputs. Then the computer system or the processor um, will basically determine which note goes where and it allocates it as it's been programmed. And here we've got a set of output cards. These things do nothing more than, than fire the, the actual stops um, when you set, say, a prestant on, on piston number one and you press a certain one, it, it's, it fires the coils for that. Now we'll take you inside your organ to see the other side. Here we are inside the organ now. And as you will see, there's a, another processor board, very similar to the other one. These are all outputs. You'll see the cables run down there. And these cables all connect to the pipes, or to the solenoids under the pipes, which activates it. On top is the processor, and this processor gets a signal from the processor to the console. Um, and once the signal comes down here, this processor will determine what the signal is and will switch the corresponding solenoid on and in so doing so, uh, it will play the correct notes that you need. Right, Daniel's now going to show you a quick demonstration of how the system works. Right, so programming the pistons on our system is as per industry standard. You simply select the registers you wish, press and hold the set piston, Press the piston to program, and now you can see it remembers your set. Uh, oh, there you go. Right, so here we have the simple control panel which allows uh, configuration and control of various other things. First of all, we have multiple levels where you can choose a different level for programming the pistons. On each level, you're able to reprogram all the pistons. Um, how many levels there are is depending on, on the size of the organ and so forth. In this particular example, we've got 80 levels. Um, then we can change the range of the pistons, uh, which is uh, basically what does the pistons control. Um, we have general, which means a piston will control any, any register on the organ. We can put on divisional, then uh, as, as the name suggests, uh, pistons under the swell manual, for example, will now only uh, be able to manipulate the swell registers. Divisional with pedal, um, as, as it suggests, uh, pistons under the swell manual would control the manual registers as well as the pedal registers. 
um, MIDI only, applicable to only a system like this one, which has a MIDI output. Uh, now the piston is actually simply a MIDI output, which is for, for MIDI purposes. Um, then we have the little menu here, which you can go to. Um, for example, in the presets, we can choose to clear a level. So we would choose there, we would choose to say a level 3. It's already clear actually, but we ask us to confirm and then we can clear the level. Um, we can make a copy of a level. Say we wish to have level 1, uh, we wish to copy it onto level 2 so that we can make a new layout using that as our base. We we'll simply say copy level 1 to 2, confirm, there we go, now we have copied. Um, over here we can change, also of course only if, if the organ has a MIDI output as this one does. We can set the MIDI channel for the pedal, manual 2, manual 1 the registers, the, the pistons, the, the swell pedal, and the crescendo pedal. Um, and of course, this system has a crescendo, so we've got some options. The crescendo, we can switch it to MIDI only, on or off, which uh, means that if you put on MIDI only mode, it, it won't do what a crescendo normally does, as in activating stops. And also, mainly just for fun, we can play with the crescendo lights. So. We can leave it as per standard, as you can see, uh, or you can have this mode where just one light moves up and down, or you can even switch them off in case maybe you're using the media output on a hope that system or something and, and you don't want the crescendo lights at all. Uh, and, well, that's about it. Right, so just a quick demonstration of how the MIDI capabilities of this organ can work. Um, I have here just a, very much a random file I downloaded off the internet. So it's not perfectly optimized for a pipe organ, but uh, you can simply load it, hit thing, uh, put some stops on, and...